thinking you're surrounded by foes. Simply picture it as a series of one-on-one -on -one fights. Then, even the spiciest Mabo curry ain't that bad. Right? I taken down Okay, you go. You take that side for me. Sure. Celia, you take that in. Hey, wait a minute, Leo. I thought we were saving your life. <laughs> Did you see that, Grandma? Thrilling comeback from an almost certain death. It takes a noble spirit. That kind of show. But guess who's got one? Me! Leo Fukad! All you did was get rescued by your childhood friends. If anyone deserves credit for acting nobly back there, it's me and Celia, risking our lives to save you. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Let's get out of here while we can. Leo? You okay? Sure. No problems here. Memory serves. There's a village not far from here. It's on the smaller side. I think it was called Lucy? Why don't we head there for now? We can rest and pick up supplies. Sounds good. The way you started talking about spicy curry to your grandma in that life or death situation, it came off a little more cute than noble. Reminded me of you as a kid. Oh, you heard that, did you? Mm-hmm. So what are we gonna do with you? You end up in mortal peril every time we take our eyes off you. Not every time. Relax, you don't need to treat me like I'm an infant. Honestly? It'd be easier to watch if you were an infant. You'd have to crawl towards danger instead of sprinting. Ugh. Look, it's not like it's intentional. I don't go out looking for trouble, it comes after me. This time, in the form of someone who needed help. This time, huh? Okay, like most times. I'm sorry, alright? Sheesh. Come on! Huh. <sighs> you don't sound like it. I mean, this isn't the first time we've had to bail you out. You're the best. The most reliable pals a guy could ask for. Keep up the good work, you heroes. Yeah, I think you're laying it on a little thick there. Here! Bring it on! <laughs> I like this forest. It's a nice place for a walk. We're not here on vacation, Leo. Right, but I understand how he feels. Having grown up in Sylvair, we're practically one with the forest. Well, yeah, I get that. <laughs> Looks like we've cleared the woods. Is the village you mentioned past these grasslands? Should be. So, how did you wind up in that mess anyway? Ah, uh, well, I came across this peddler, you know, a guy with a cart. He was running for his life from these beasts, and, well... 
and you just couldn't turn a blind eye. Yeah, that sounds like you, Leo. But where did he go after you stepped in? Where do you think? He ran to safety. All thanks to yours truly, who got the beast's attention. <sighs> Leo, this was a total stranger, right? Huh? Yeah. Uh, Leo. Did you get anything in return for helping him? Did you get his contact information? Did he at least thank you in some way or form? <laughs> Don't be silly, Celia. There wasn't any time for that. Obviously. As if we're talking about what I got in return, I just boosted my nobility big time. What could be more valuable? Whoa, what's going on here? Where did all these pole wiggles come from? We don't really have time for this. But if we let them go free, they might cause harm to the village. Let's take them out quickly. Right then. Let's do it! I'm already on it! Are you taking this seriously? Come on! Bring it on! No! We're all good now, right? I think so. Let's move on. Why do you think there were so many of them? Maybe they were out enjoying this beautiful day. Even Bullwiggle's gotta bask in the sun every now and then. Yeah, I highly doubt that's what they were doing. To be sure, Leo, you do remember what our mission is, right? Huh? Uh, oh, of course. Um, it's, you know, fight for world peace and whatnot. What do you think we are? Did you hit your head or what? Get him up to speed, Celia. Okay. Take this! Pay attention. After we enrolled at the Federation's, the three of us are... We're students of... Are we good, so... Yeah, of course. What's with that air? <sighs> So, we serve as an... that takes on mission. Right. Because we're so... like we've are. I guess... still, that... 